at 5:30. We begin tonight north of the border, where tough times may be ahead now for pit bulls and their owners. Courts in Montreal, Quebec, now moving forward with a pit bull ban following a months-long court battle. This ban follows a deadly dog attack in that city from last summer. So, is this a knee-jerk reaction or a necessity, a necessary move to try and protect the public? 7 Eyewitness News reporter Sierra Johnson is getting both sides of the story for us tonight. Very dangerous. Dangerous. It's like walking past a lion or a tiger. To say that the breed is completely bad just because it's gotten a bad name from the past is ridiculous. It's a hot button issue. Are pit bulls a dangerous breed? Some in Canada's largest city of Montreal would say yes after the city passed a ban on pit bulls in pit bull mixes. The new law, which goes into effect next year, prevents residents from adopting or purchasing pit bulls. If you already own one, the dog would need to be registered. And under the new law, if you plan to take the breed for a walk, it will soon be required to wear a muzzle. The recent decision um, to go ahead with the breed-specific legislation in Montreal is, is a tragedy. Here in western New York, local shelters are disappointed by the city's decision. <laughs> Executive Director of the Niagara County SPCA says there is often an unfounded connection that keeps these cages full. It's just that because of the stigma that goes along with, you know, with their breed, um, that they sit here for a lot longer than other breeds. Supporters of the Canadian law, including the mayor of Montreal, cite the stringent control efforts work to provide others with a sense of security. Lewis said the money being used to enforce the Canadian law could be better spent in a way that benefits everyone. Um, teaching children how to interact with animals, uh, teaching adults how to interact with animals, and really putting into place uh, mandatory spay neuter and, and doing it at low cost or even free. The director of the Niagara SPCA says she does not believe a similar law would be created here because of the strong network of pit bull advocacy groups. Sierra Johnson, 7 Eyewitness News.